Coverage at 10 Sunday. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Brian Bowes. We just finished watching the second presidential debate between the Republican and Democratic candidates. So how do you think they did? We heard what Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton had to say tonight, but what do they really mean? CBS 19 put a body language expert to work to find out. Producer John Burnley has more. Ladies and gentlemen, the Republican nominee for president, Donald J. Trump, and the Democratic nominee for president, Hillary Clinton. Studies show words alone don't necessarily convey what a person is really saying. A raise of an eyebrow, a tilt of the head. Experts say these small actions speak for themselves. And tonight, body language expert Leo Cardenas is weighing in on what the candidates were really saying. And it all starts with an icy hello. I think the, the first part, the introduction, the hello, was extremely icy. They were supposed to do a handshake, or at least I expected them to do a handshake, and there was nothing. That was very, very telling that there's a lot of anger between the candidates, and they don't want to even say hello cordially. And throughout the debate, sniffing. A nervous habit? Can somebody please give Donald something for his nose? Who can listen to that for this long? It seems like every time he does that, it's because he's preparing to actually uh, launch into something, some tirade. When he's being bothered quite a bit by the question, so you can see him almost as stalling. He's almost taking time to see how he's going to answer the question. And while Cardenas says Trump became very uncomfortable when talk of his leaked tape arose. That was locker room talk. Uh, I'm not proud of it. I am a person who has great respect for people, for my family, for the people of this country, and certainly I'm not proud of it, but that was something that uh, happened. Okay, so throughout the whole thing, as soon as they began doing the debate, as soon as the leaked tape, the comments that he made about women came out, you could tell that his demeanor changed completely. He started using a lot of illustrators asking, almost asking people to stop asking him that question. You can see him putting his hand up front and also very uncomfortable with the topic. He also uses a lot of shoulder shrugging when he says that he apologizes, that he is sorry for the comments that he made. I do not believe him whatsoever. The shoulder is very telling and he's not sorry whatsoever. But Cardenas says Hillary was equally defensive when the question of her emails came up. It's just not true, and so please oh, you, oh, go you didn't to delete him? allow her to respond, please. Personal, personal emails, not oh, official. Oh, 33,000? Not, yeah. well, we turned over 35,000, so oh, yeah. it was... What about the other 15,000? Uh, please allow her to respond. She didn't talk while you talked. Yes, that's true. I didn't. So when the question about the emails for Hillary came out, uh, you can tell that her demeanor changed a lot. In fact... She almost showed remorse and shame by looking down. Before that, she was actually looking at people in the eye, making a lot of eye contact. But when that question came up and she was trying to answer it, even though Donald was interrupting her, she kept looking down. And that shows me that she's ashamed for what happened with the topic of the emails. What will you do? So you be the judge. Were they just telling us what we want to hear? Or is there a deeper meaning to the things they're really trying to say? or not say. And I'll be honest, I am so disappointed. For CBS 19, I'm producer John Burnley. Thank you, John. 